Ultra Trail V-Line Sport. This is a V-Line Sport 635. So this is an Ultra Trail Expedition 68. The Ultra Trail Tracker RL. So the first one I'm going to look at is this uh, Ultra Trail V-Line Sport. This is a V-Line Sport 635. 2023 model and TPLM is 3500 it's the on the longer wheelbase so it's 6.36 meters long but only 2. Point, it'd be 2.02 .02 wide I would imagine let's so, say so the new model brand new 635 got the Fiat alloys on it and it's 72,518 not too bad if you say it quickly. Now have a look inside. I think we might need to switch some lights on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this one's got a rear lounge. Nice, nice little rear lounge. And it's got a window here at the back. It's got a boot, I notice. We'll look at that a little bit later. That's quite different. It's a very similar layout to the our friend's Trev and Sue's IH, the rear lounge. And uh, my coffee's arrived. Oh, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Try not to spill it this time. All these cupboards. I mean, the great thing about auto trials is they always put in a load of cupboards. They look very well made cupboards. These are quite solid looking. Not huge, obviously, for obvious reasons. But yeah, I do like an auto trail cupboard. <laughs> yeah, there's your um, TV booster in there. TV bracket there. Sort of blinds have we got. Yeah, but nice. Ooh, a bit stiff. Yeah, but uh, very nice blinds. Yeah, oh, it's a really nice area here. Not sure how long how long the beds are. I think this one's a little bit shorter. I think I'd struggle to sleep that way on this. Might be able to sleep on that side. You can see one's longer than the other. Yeah, I could probably sleep on, on this side here. And Jenny could sleep on that side. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Look at the wardrobe. Double doors, got a little occasional table in there, that goes up there. Hanging space, okay. There's a manual, energy selection fridge. So that's a little bit small, but does the job. Triplex oven. I'll switch some more lights on so you can have a better look. There we go. Yeah, that's a really nice lounge. Cozy lounge, but yeah. So back to the triplex. There are three, bur three gas burners. And a reasonable size oven. And you've got a load of storage space under there. Oh yeah, that's good. All your pots and pans are going there. A bit of reversing going on. Some nice looking drawers. Yeah, that's all right. More cupboard space here. I like the way this um, this is illuminated under here. That's good. Looks very nice in here. Quite impressed. R Russell Hobbs microwave. Oh, it's still got a turntable, unfortunately. Here's all your controls. Obviously, you've got your smoke alarm goes there. Uh, there's your heating, water, lights, and the auto trail panel. Okay. Let's turn around. Yeah, and you've got another cupboard here. Yep. Well, that's huge. That's enormous. 
put your laptop on there and there's a bigger table there so you've got two tables you've got that one which presumably goes down there and the one in the wardrobe comes up here I suppose they had more space to put it there so it's six speed Fiat on the new Fiat with the sat nav on it yeah I do like these new Fiat's they look good USB and yeah very nice cab blinds got the ones that come up from the bottom yeah that's good and the door blinds as well so yeah it's fairly fully well equipped there's a little map pocket there side pockets here there's no sunroof here but it's no great no great loss I don't think another locker there so it's the only thing is it might just make this area a little bit darker if there's no skylight there I assume that's not a skylight no it's not just keeps it simple I suppose right let's have a look in the washroom hanging rail another space there there's a curtain it's a bit of a wet room so the curtain will protect the, uh, the woodwork there got some lockers in here yeah. and pull down sink that's okay something to hang things and then when you finish just tip the water away more shelves under there it's got blown air in there and a central plug there and toilet shower and the ventilation there is a ventilation thing up there I don't know if it's a fan or it's just a, a hole but yeah, that's all right plenty of room to, to uh, swing your elbows about no it's good I like this let's have a look under we got under here as well because this is the boot isn't it here Oh yeah, so it's got access to the boot here. We'll have a look around the outside in a minute. There's no uh, lockers that side or that side. Presumably, you can lift this up. Yeah, there's your electrics and your leisure batteries in there. That side. And more space in there. Oh, that's good. Oh, you, Bed in would probably go in there, I thought. Two forty volt socket. Uh, spotted a USB there, USB up there. The lights themselves have got USBs on them, but you've got your TV bracket and uh, that socket there, rather. There's no fan in the kitchen, there's just a skylight. In fact, that is, oh no, there is another skylight there, so there's two skylights. That's a reasonable size one. Yeah, I'm going to have a swig of coffee. Yeah, so moving outside, you've got the step there, and you've got a whale barbecue point there. That's good. Obviously you can only use that with the door open, but I suppose it's somewhere to put it. There's your, so your fuel filler. Obviously you've got your narrower mirrors. You've got a fuel awning on the top, or Thule, however you want to say it. V-line sport. Yeah, 140 brake horsepower, six-speed manual. Yeah, have a look round. I think we're missing anything on that side. No. And here's your boot. That's quite nice. Obviously, you've got the seats above, but you have got a space here that you can get to. Yeah, so they've done away with the hinges on the back door. Got 
got flush fitting windows. They're quite nice. Yeah. There's your fridge vents. And they're all sort of blacked out as well, which is very, very on trend. <laughs> There's your electric. Oh, they're always a bit stiff, these. Can't get out there. I think that's your vent. No, it can't be your vent. What is that? Water filler. Ah, there we go. That's it. That's your water. I think. Yeah, yeah looks like it. Quick look in the cab. Yeah. Okay. There's your emptying points. Not sure that there must be some sort of vent. Yeah, looks like it's a, well, it might be yeah, that's an exhaust, isn't it, for the heater, I think. So I'm going to have a look at the Auto Trail Expedition over there, but this is the V-Line Sports, and it's very nice. So this is an Auto Trail Expedition 68. I think this one's sold, so they've just opened it up for me to have a look. I'll have to be quite careful, taking the wheel trims off there, but same sort of thing. There's all your water and waste outlets, cassette toilet there, electric here. Just the one window, or two, well, one small window on that side. Yeah. We put all the lights on for us. That's, that's the water, isn't it? You, yeah, it's water, isn't it? That's it. Just unlocking it for us. But yeah, there's a travel seat one, two travel seats, a dinette table. Very useful if you're doing a bit of editing, that is. <laughs> we found. Let's have a look in. Okay, looks as all, <laughs> all ready to go. Got a load of stuff on the bed there. So what we got? Nice sink. A two burner hob. A smallish oven there. And drawers. Another, switch my light on. Another table there. Oh, sorry, another, I was thinking the table was in there, but another cupboard there. Got a little pull out table there. Electric socket. All your controls up here. A little cupboard there. Okay. And Thetford fridge. Okay. That's, that's interesting. I think it's a compressor fridge by the looks of it because it goes a long way back. You always get a bit more depth compressor fridges. That's not bad. It's not a bad little freezer freezer box there. Only a small freezer box. So it's got all the gubbins up there. More cupboards, drawers. All drawers work all the way down there. The seats look reasonably comfortable. Probably not that wide. Let's have a look. sit in them. Well, they do hug you a bit. They're very comfortable. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, that's good if you you know if you want to use it as your only vehicle have nice comfortable seats. Sometimes these are a bit upright and don't give you much lumbar support, but they are quite curved there. I assume your seat belts come. Oh yeah, that's your seat belt attachments, isn't it? Not sure where the seat belts are at the moment. More lockers there and here. But yeah. 
Yeah, same sort of lines. There's, there's a little step there, so you just got to be careful there. Yeah. Blinds on that window. This is a manual. Hasn't got the sat nav one by the looks of it, just the, the basic uh, unit, radio unit. But there, uh, new cab. Up above, not much, too much space in there. That seems to be blocked off. Not sure why they'd do that. Seems a waste of a bit of a cupboard there, I suppose. Yeah, probably not too much there. Unusual of <laughs> Auto Trail to miss a, an opportunity to put some more cupboards in. Let's have a look at the washroom first, and then I'll look at the, look at the bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's not a bad wash area. You've got um, places to put your soaps and lotions and potions. We've got a shower curtain, little corner sink with the shower unit on it. So it, it is a wet room. Don't really need the shower curtain. I suppose it's protecting the door, I suppose. There's a fixed bench toilet, Thetford fixed bench toilet, single drain hole, and vent above. That's all right, it's all right. Uh, yeah, light there. Towel rail and a hook. Okay, just moving into the bedroom area. Uh, yeah, got a little cupboard here. No hanging space on that one. And another cupboard there. There is a, a hanging shelf, so you could turn that one into the wardrobe. I guess. Okay. Got like drop down blackout blinds on that one as well as the. No, it hasn't got any. Oh, it's only a single one, isn't it? So you'd have that at the back. And it's got a blackout blind on the back windows there. And that's quite nice because it'll keep the drafts out. Sunroof up there. I think this is just blanked off that, that area. So I think you'd probably sleep that way. I'm not sure of the width of the bed. I think that would, wouldn't be long enough for me, but all right for a couple of uh, shorter people. Obviously got this bit here. Um, does that lift out? No, that's fixed there. And uh, steps to get up. And, uh, can't, get, can't get in there. I don't know why at the moment. I'm gonna force it. We'll have a look at the other side in a moment. So 200 kilos, that says, on there. Yeah, I suppose that's just somewhere to kneel on when, you, when you're when getting in here. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the ladder there. Get your auto trail umbrella. <laughs> Let's have a look at the back. Like I say, it's got a refillable LPG. Wow. Now, this is the reason for this, isn't it? <laughs> this is a huge space under here. I think you can. F looks like you can fold the beds up as well. So I think that. Yeah, that would. These beds fold up and fold away. That is a huge space. So fold the bed up. Bikes, canoes, quad bikes even. I'm going to take that off. That's a panel there. Let's go undo all of those. Assume you've got like your gas in there or something, or your electrics. Uh, gas bottle in there. I was thinking it was refillable, it must have a gas bottle in. Yeah, no, that's got a thing on, so I can't look in there. Okay, just take that panel off. Yeah, no, it's your water. I don't know how big that is. That's Pretty big, but you could carry that to the water point. You know what, 40 litres possibly? Don't know. It's more than 25 anyway, so that's fairly big. But yeah, that's it nice and simple, isn't it? Presumably you put your pump in, in there. Yeah, just three uh, catches to get that off. And there's your access to... Oh, I can see why I couldn't open that. It's got like a magnetic catch, so it probably just needs a good pull. 
there's more, presumably there's more electrics or something hidden away in the back there. Or heater units. But that's a huge space there. It's really good. It's, see why it's called Expedition. Let's shut the doors properly. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah cab blinds come up from the front. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's all your controls inside. Again, it's whale, whale heating, whale water and your auto trail controls there. Yeah, just looking around the outside there, as you can see you've got the radio aerial on the front. There's no awning with this one at the moment. No rollout canopy rather. Yeah, so what I've got here is a auto trail tracker RL 79606. It's a 23 model. It's got the older style Fiat alloys on it. A look at the specs 140 brake horsepower six speed manual 3500 kilograms and it's 23 so this is new isn't it yeah okay we'll have a look around the outside so you've got your whale outside barbecue point can i open that yes you can open it yep and your whale uh, water point i think Never know what they are because they're locked. And it's under seat locker there. So it's all right for long, narrow things, but you're obviously not going to be putting your bikes in there. <laughs> okay, so you've got uh, provision for a bike rack, rear view camera. Got these nice new uh, LED head uh, lights on the back. The other other locker, oh, the other side of the locker. Another whale point. Well, I'm going to have to see what this one is. I think that's your filling point. Truma heating. And your electric. Looks like it's got a massive fridge because we've got one vent there, and the other vent way up there. The toilet looks like it's at the front. A new Fiat cab. I'm just looking at the uh, the step here. It's quite a step up there. I was thinking there was a pull-out step. I can't see one. No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, it's quite a way up there. Right, lights. Let's see if I find the controls. <laughs> ah. Here. There we go. Switch it on. Monday the 31st of January 2000. It's actually not. <laughs> it's the 24th of November 2023. And let's start at this back lounge. One side is longer than the other. So if you're going to sleep on single, as a single, this would be the one. And I think this would do it, wouldn't it? Let's try it. Let me feet off. Oh yeah, this is all right. <laughs> Do me. The cupboards are very swish looking. Quite tall as well. And auto trail, it goes all the way round, of course, as well. It's nice, <laughs> I didn't really show it, but it is nice to see a touch panel uh, in here. This is on the tracker range. And your TV point there, and an Avtex Smart TV, very good. Below it, you've got a table, a table you can take outside. 
next to that, a big cupboard. And we're across. Square sink. Worktop's not bad. Not the biggest I've ever seen. Cutlery will be in there. I've got to open all these lockers, you know, because you, you never know what's in them. Oven, grill, three burner hob, electric plate, Russell hob, turntable. Have a look at the fridge. Yeah, I like these fridges. I do, yeah, I prefer these to ours. Don't need the like, silly double door opening thing. Got, I like this bit at the bottom there, you can pull that out and good size freezer as well. I assume that, yeah, it's automatic energy selection. Yeah. What have we got behind here? We've got uh, 12 volts, mains and looks like there's USB, can't really get to it. But yeah, a really nice lounge that. And I guess the bed's made up by pulling, yeah, pull the two together and you've got a massive double there. Very nice. There's no drop down bed in here. It is just that. So this is strictly two berth. As you can see, there's no travel seats or anything because all of this is going to be the washroom. Which we'll have a look in now. So toilet, toilet's on the floor. Good to see. And really bright light there. Wow, that's bright. Yeah, nice square sink. Yeah, let me get inside. Do not stand in the shower tray. That's also nice to see a rail, hanging rail, shower there, and your little basket things there for your condiments. And a bifold door. No, that's all right, like that. Again, a single drain, but. No, that's all right, that is good. Let's move into the side of it. Oh yeah, yeah. There's your proper wardrobe. This is a really good size wardrobe. There's nothing intruding on it either. It's, they seem to have done away with those magnetic catches. They've just gone for the buttons. So under there you've got your electrics, your fuses, etc. A locker above that. Yep, good. No need for the cab seats to swivel. You've got little, um, what do you call those little shelves in there. Same on the other side. And there. And sunroof. I would say that's just a looks like a just a caravan type window. I'd always worry that that's going to whistle. But you'd have to try it out. Cab blinds, and it's the older type cab blinds that go in from the side like ours. But they must still have had some of those knocking about. There's nothing wrong with them. They work perfectly well. Yeah, I like this. It, there's a huge feeling of space in here. You could probably put another locker there, you know. Come on, Auto Trail, what are you doing? Well, you'd probably bang your head, wouldn't you? Yeah, I like this a lot. So if you're in the market for a rear lounge, Come and have a look at the Auto Trail Tracker RL. Yeah, 